Hi everybody, my name is Jessica Holyfield. I am a professional dancer, professional dance choreographer, and dance educator based out of the Southeast of the United States. And we are gonna be taking a look at Color of the Crew. This is the final mission, final performance. And I will tell you this, whenever I initially reacted to this, um, I thought this was the first mission, not them as a crew. So you're gonna see a lot of my feedback, you know, tailored to that. But honestly, I now that I think about it, because at this point, before you're about to watch me react to them, I've already seen them because I didn't catch it till I finished recording. Um, but each one really demonstrated their essence as a crew, and it was really enjoyable to watch. Probably why I was affected more emotionally this way, and it really felt like them, like all of them felt like themselves, you know? So I hope you guys enjoy, and I am watching in final ranking order. It'll be from Cocoa and Butter, and uh, Holy Bang would be my final one that I react to. I hope you guys enjoy. All right, we got hook. I also got a table, here we go. <laughs> Wow, that just shows you the power of dance, the power of dance, because I'm not fluent in Korean. I do know Oma. I do know I have about like first grader level, maybe elementary vocabulary equivalents. Um, but just like, that was really, that was really touching. Just seeing that I'm not a mom either, but I mean, that was very, I, that was sign language. And I just saw symptoms of it and then just seeing that whole moment. And then, um, <laughs> oh man, uh, Aiki, I know she is a mom. So I know that part. Like seeing seeing her emotional investment in it made me very much um, be invested. I was just invested in it the whole time. And honestly, I, it felt very, it, was, it kind of paid tribute to that because even the imagery of pulling the hair back you know that's something that a mom when they're taking care of their child that's like a really that's something that i think is cross-cultural you know taking care of others and then having pain you know in this is omega dalege i don't know what that part means but i know oma Right, so I think it's just showing the woes and this and of being a mom, you know. That's just what my assumption would be, but it's just this was beautiful. How they finished? This is so nice, very clean, and they're hitting the piano. Have a nice reverberation about it. That boom, and there's so much like, um, it has a lot of sign language intention behind it even i know that asl is different than the korean sign language they're different in some of the interpretation and um i'm just gonna say like i'm not very i'm not very fluent in sign language at all but i can pick up on it on like i can see if that's what someone is doing i would say because you see the intentionality behind the phrasing of the arm movements i absolutely love just the 
man, I'm really touched by this. Um, just how they're, you know, even here, like I've, I normally, a lot of the positions that they're making, I don't have to know sign language to know that there's a sign language influence about it because the only place that I can reference those are in sign language, right? And I love that. And they do a lot of points and a lot of, it's a lot of hand intention. And here she's sitting on the table. She's working on her hair, taking care of it. Odin, and it's really nice that Ike's doing it because we know she's a mom, right? And I know she's like the mom of the students here too. And that was a big thing. This is just beautiful. That swing through was really nice, matched the music really well. Nice fan roll. My only note that I would make is point your toes. You know, whenever you're doing this style, contemporary is what I would equate this to. Um, when you point, point your feet because it completes the line, whenever you're doing any sort of technique that is within this realm, it just makes it look more refined and nicer. But because, you know, we're nearing that finale, I mean, I, I understand that this is not the typical genre that they pursue, but I love the fact that we get to see it from them because it's so touching. It really is, you know? And then we dropped it back and brought it back up. That right there, the bringing it around. Like the musicality on this is insane. Like it's so beautiful to see all of these sign language influences just be enmeshed in the tone so well. And it's very effective. The table's really nice. I just, I love this, you know, on the table. I love that having one person at the top on the table and then having them kind of mirror each other. It's just really nice to see. It's like I'm watching over you, protecting you. It's just, and I love that. I love that all the members are part of their feature is sign language influence. Like it's like everybody's invested in it. Love the flipping over of the table. And then even having like losing their balance, you know, kind of having that I'm holding on, <laughs> you know, it's just, it's really nice to see. And then kind of the brokenness that is happening there, you know, but it's just, it's hard. It's hard and she pushed, and I love the fact she pushed the table back to allow room for the formation. So it's nice that they were just knowing how to work together. That part right there is so nice. They go around doing doing and looking where they're looking. It's a really nice psychological thing that it's helpful. Like where your head goes in all of this is very important because you want to make sure that where your audience looks naturally, I'm gonna wanna look where they're looking. So if they're all looking here at their hand, I'm gonna wanna see what they're doing with their hand. And I love that, you know. What got me was when she was right here. <laughs> her face like I'm getting teary-eyed again like look at her face it's because she she feels it you know and this is very real for her mm. I love that and I have a feeling this person here um they may need sign language I don't know but just look that's just beautiful <laughs> regardless I think this is very touching and probably means a lot I know there's probably a backstory behind this and I would love to learn more. If somebody could tell me, I would appreciate that. Just this right here, getting ready and then finishing. Guys, that was beautiful. Definitely probably one of, probably one of my favorite hook performances they've done. You know, I think like I'm all for the theatrics, but I think like it's really nice. I got to see something very vulnerable and very real from them. I don't know the full context, but I don't feel like that that doesn't negate the fact and the power of the impact that it made. And I feel like as somebody who doesn't doesn't know sign language that proficiently, I'm not fluent in Korean, the fact that I'm affected this much in this way just proves the power of how they held it down in their performance and their stage presence. You know, and I think that that's really, that's something that you cannot discredit at all. And I'm very thankful to have been able to watch that. I think that was such, that was beautiful. And I am, and I am so thankful that I have ears to hear, you know, and I can see and to be able to be able to witness that on both sides because a lot of people are not fortunate enough to do that and so I think that was a beautiful bridge allowing people to experience dance um, mu the musicality of dance through motion right and through translation of the wordplay I absolutely loved that that was beautiful Thank you guys so much for watching. We have officially um, gotten near the tail end of the first season of Street Woman Fighter. I still have, because I watched these accidentally backwards, I still have the color sound performance to watch. Um, but all in all, with color of the crew, I really feel like each crew demonstrated 
just absolute beauty and showcase of their crews. And the fact is that I could tell that even by watching it with a different pretense of what I think I was watching, genuinely. I think for me, cause some people will probably ask who I would have personally have chosen. I would have personally chosen Hook out of everyone because for me, I'm going off of the entire season, not just this isolated mission and challenge. And I'm not factoring in the public or I'm not factoring in any of those things. I really think that Hook brought the most consistency in terms of creativity, performance value, uh, content. I mean, I feel like the only time where their crew was a bit, uh, it was a bit average and execution was mega. But even then though, like I think that they still brought very clean aesthetic to the table and they did bring a lot of creative elements to it. So I will not discredit that at all. All four crews were fabulous in these. And I honestly, when I think about it, all of them demonstrated, like I've already said, they've demonstrated themselves and it really felt such a joy to watch in this position alongside you guys in correspondence to watching the second season so that's been pretty nice if you want to see more street woman content such as early release content or content that may not have made its way to youtube you can check it out on patreon if you don't see it on youtube good chances there um i do have a lot of stuff that's up and coming that is already early released and if you want to go check that out you have uh, the link is in my bio on my channel but thank you guys again for watching and i will Catch you on the flip side. Bye.